Right now at five, a tragedy involving high school kids. A car crashed into Lake Manawa, killing two teenagers. When police got to the lake just after six this morning, they found the car upside down and partially submerged in the water. Good evening, I'm Craig DeGrelli. And I'm Jennifer Griswold. Grief counselors spent the day at their school consoling shocked classmates. Senior reporter Jake Wazikowski has the very latest. Jake. Guys, both teens were students at Abraham Lincoln High School in Council Bluffs. Many still wonder how this could happen. A horrific discovery in the morning at Lake Manawa. At 6 a.m., police respond to a vehicle in the lake along West Shore Drive. A car submerged, flipped on its top. Two teens dead inside. It's unclear when the incident happened. Neighbors say they heard some screeching the night before, but that's not uncommon because of the amount of traffic. I didn't know what happened at first, trying to see what happens, and I couldn't get close or anything. Nobody let you there. They just sent it back, and they just said there was a car upside down with two bodies in it. Police identify the victims as 18-year-old Efren Lemus Lara and 17-year-old Christian Renteria Perez. Both were students at Abraham Lincoln High School, while Lemus Lara was currently attending Canesville Alternative School. Classmates say the mood at school was somber. It's been really seen a sad. Lot of people crying. Yeah. Sad. The school says the loss is shocking and heartbreaking for students and staff, and that they have counselors to help anyone who needs it through the grieving process. Renteria Perez's classmates say they won't forget how he could bring a smile to many. He was just a funny guy and just was like friends with everyone and a nice person. Everyone knew who Christian was and he just kind of made everyone laugh. The family of Renteria Perez was too distraught to do an interview with me today. Now the Council Bluffs Police Traffic Unit is still investigating the circumstances surrounding the crash and whether or not both alcohol or speed were factors. Reporting live, Jake Wazikowski, 3 News Now. Two Nebraska teams.